so Overstreet asked me to do the cover for their price guide. Uh, that's a tremendous honor. But they've said to me, uh, hey, we want you to do Green Lantern, we want you to do Flash, we want it to be iconic, iconic and we want it to be fun. So they sent me um, specs here. These are, well, these are samples, okay? It says, look at this. Overstreet covers, uh, hardcover specs. And what is this, the hardcover that I'm doing? Um, look at these artists that they've had um, before. That is amazing stuff. Look at this Adam Hughes. Um, okay, so this is basically what we're trying to do. We're trying to do something along the lines of this. Um, make it good. Uh, that's what the book's going to look like, so it's like a hardcover. Um, is this an annual thing? Alright, so they're saying it's uh, nine and a half inches tall. Nine and a half inches tall um, by uh, six. Whoa, what is this right here? And a, a six and eleven thirty-two. Is that, seriously, that is, that's rounded down as low as it can go. Uh, okay, inches wide, so it's you know, um, a little less than six and a half inches wide. Uh, and then there's this weird border here that's an extra half inch wide. That is a peculiar... Now what... All right, so I could draw this real size or I could blow it up. That's the question. What am I going to do? Um, I could do it... I could double this and make it 19 inches tall. 19 inches tall by what 22 what the 12 I wasn't good at math I'll figure it out <laughs> this should be interesting watch a dumb artist try to do math all right so if we're doubling it basically we're gonna be 19 inches by uh, let's see so um Six and eleven thirty seconds. I've never seen anything like that before. Uh, so we're gonna double that, and we're gonna get twelve and uh, basically twenty-two thirty seconds, and we round that down to twelve and eleven sixteenths. But hold on now. There's the half inch joint here. That's a half inch wide. We're gonna tack on one more inch. So thirteen, thirteen and eleven sixteenths. All right, so 19 by 13 and 11 sixteenths. You know what I'm gonna do? Let's look at what a sixteenth of a, let's see what a five sixteenths of an inch looks like. It's, it's, it's gonna look like this. All right, so let's just go ahead and just assume we're gonna bleed that out. We're just gonna do 19 by 14 and we're gonna let them uh, split the difference any way that they want to. Let's go. All right, so we measured it out, and this is our workspace. Nice, right? Yeah, so this is uh, 14, 14 inches by 19 inches. This is a much bigger surface than I'm used to working on. Um, but I think that uh, it's gonna allow me to do a lot of detail. And since I'm drawing Flash and Green Lantern, and basically uh, my concept is a team up between the two, and I wanna draw all of their villains, <laughs> I might be asking too much of myself here. Um, but this is a good opportunity because uh, it's freedom. It's freedom, it's not an editor telling you uh, anything that you can and can't do. It has nothing to do with story. It has to do with uh, an iconic image that's gonna sell this uh, price guide. So uh, let's get started. So we're gonna kind of wing it here. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do um, in terms of uh, a layout. We gotta kind of do this quickly. Uh, <laughs> this, bo uh, this book cover was uh, slightly delayed by circumstances. Um, so uh, they, they've just told me, oh yeah, you can start it now. We need it um, a week ago. Oh, great, okay. So let's just do um, the, the simplest thing that you can do if you're gonna do an action shot, which is just simple one point perspective um, in terms of the impact that we want it to have. Um, we're not doing uh, any kind of an art piece here. What we're doing is a boom, bang, excitement kind of piece. Um, so we put a nice um, vanishing point right here. And I'm just gonna do a few little perspective lines. Um, to kind of just show the direction 
that I want the majority of action to be going in, okay? So in other words, wherever we can, in order to create this explosive impact that I'm creating here, right in the lower center of the page, uh, wherever I can, I'm going to have characters following these action lines. Does that make sense? Uh, the idea is basically to draw your eye right into the middle to make it feel like it's all coming out at you. Um, and to uh, offer you impact. And I'm going to have these two characters. Now I'm, I'm actually thinking, like, I want to have the two characters running out at us. Okay? Um, you know, just eye-popping, exciting action here. Uh, my concern, and then I want to have villains all behind them. My concern is that it doesn't look like they're running away from the villains. <laughs> That's not what heroes do. We don't want to show them in full retreat. Um, so, I'm going to have to find a way to make that kind of uh, um, clear. And this is going to require some cleverness. I, I, I've seen covers like this before where... Um, that, uh, you know, you have villains in the background and heroes, you know, flying away towards you. And uh, that thought has occurred to me. I'm like, boy, it kind of looks like they're in full retreat. Again, that's not the, uh, what we want to say here. So, all right, so here we go. We have a nice little explosive one point perspective, um, uh, right in the middle of the page. And, um, all right, let's take it from here. Okay, so here's a simple solution. Um, I've decided to use this symbol that Jeff Johns came up with uh, about 10 years ago. If there was ever going to be a Green Lantern Flash team up book like Superman, Batman, and Jeff had done this little design. It was a Green Lantern symbol, and I've just broadly kind of sketched it in here. A Green Lantern symbol, and the kind of hole in the center of the logo would end up being a Flash logo. There would be a lightning bolt right through it. So we have that in mind now. Okay, that's what we're going to do. And the way that we're going to get around the idea that villains are uh, causing our heroes to be in full retreat is we're going to have the villains crawling, smaller than the heroes, okay? Crawling all over these, all over the symbol, all over this logo. We're going to have them in the background reaching out, you know, trying to get past it. But no, this symbol is like, you know, a wall. It's a protective wall that's holding the heroes back. In the meantime, we're going to have our heroes really big and exciting uh, coming at us. So we'll have Green Lantern on this side. Now we're forced to make a, a quick decision here about who goes on which side. Initially, I thought that I would put Green Lantern here because uh, anyone who's in mag uh, magazine um, publishing will tell you the focal point um, for any magazine where the viewer's eye automatically goes to. And by the way, um, you know, uh, studying where... Uh, a viewer's eye actually goes on a page um, is a science in and of itself. It's subliminal advertising. But if this is the whole cover, people tend to focus right here for some reason. That's the first place their eye goes. So whatever is most important or the first thing that you want them to look at, you're going to try to keep right in this area right here. Okay? That's a little trick of magazine publishing. And you'll, you'll notice it, actually, if you look at magazines. You'll say, what's in this corner? Because that oftentimes... Uh, usually is the first thing they want me to notice about the magazine. All right, so I was going to use this space here to put Green Lantern's fist with his ring, um, but that's not going to work um, because the lightning bolt starts here and comes down here. So in other words, we're kind of forced to make this area over here uh, the area where someone is flying, where they're off the ground, so that we don't cover up the lightning bolt too much. And this area over here um, be the spot where someone is running on the ground because we actually now have the page split right in half this way. All right, so uh, that's where we're going. That's my thought process so far. It could change. I mean, you know, I could decide to throw this idea out entirely um, and decide it's not feasible, but I think it's a good idea um, right now and I'm going to run with it and, uh, and see what happens.
$29.95, woof, uh, worth every penny, will be available in comic shops, traditional bookstores, and from online booksellers, um, while the $35 hardcover will be available exclusively from comic shops, so make sure to get one of those, and I'll sign it for you um, when I see you at the convention. Um, scheduled to go on sale Wednesday, uh, July 18, 2018, in comic shops, the Over Street Comic Book Price Guide number 48 features new prices, new feature articles, new additions to the Over Street Hall of Fame, new market reports, and more. This edition also includes a look at Marvel's uh, critical 1968 expansion, the 50th anniversary of Planet of the Apes, and a bit of action comics history from former DC president and publisher Paul Levitz. Great guy. Uh, Vance Skyver joins a long list of comic book greats who have covered the guy um, from Joe Hewitt to Will Eisner to Carl Barks to Alex Ross, Walt Simonson, and Manny Connor. Covering the Overture comic book price guide has become an exclusive purview of the field's top artists. Uh, Wally Wood, Al Williamson, Murphy Anderson, Carmine and Confino, Joe Simon, C.C. Beck, John K. Sander III, Joe Justo, and Mike Giovato Jr. are among the other luminaries whose work has been featured. Um, quote from me, I'm always happy to draw Flash and Green Lantern. They belong together, both of them enforcers of law and justice and good pals, super friends. It's an honor to be chosen uh, to cover Over Street number 48 and Sky Reset. Quote, we're very happy to have you the Man Skyrim's Council on full display on our cover. So J.C. Vaughn, Vice President of Publishing for Gemstone Publishing. Um, starting with Hubert Eisner and Barks, Bob Overstreet threw down a gauntlet for us to create the best possible covers each year. Looking at Ethan's work on CDPG number 48, it's clear he's in that group. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. Um, the Bible of serious comic book collectors, dealers, and historians since it was first published in 1970. The Overstreet Comic Book Price Guide is released each July by Gemstone Publishing, compiled, um, compiled by founder Robert M. Overstreet, and an extensive roster of Overstreet advisors. The guide offers insight into complex and exciting uh, into the complex and exciting comic book market, which isn't doing so hot right now. Uh, the Flash Green Lantern Soft Cover Edition is Diamond Comic Distributor's item. Blah 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 blah. And we know that. We know that. Hey, pretty pretty great. Thank you so much, guys. Um, great company, absolutely great, and I really appreciate uh, uh, being selected, and it was an honor to work with you. It was a lot of fun, too. Um, you guys at home, I hope you're able to get a copy of the price guide, and um, yeah, <laughs> your Uncle Ethan did the cover. Isn't that great? It's no secret at all that I couldn't do this channel if it wasn't for support from you, my subscriber base, and my Patreon donors. If you'd like to join this community by pledging a dollar or more per month, go check out the link in the description below. And I thank you.